Hey guys, how do you do? Today marks day 77 of my attempt to break the record of most films seen in a cinema in one year. By the way, my name is Vincent and this is the end of week 11 and after watching 15 films, I'm currently at 162 films seen. Only 338 more to go to break the record and then some to go ahead because I don't want to make it easy for you to try to break my record afterwards. Now, this week is a lot less, less fun uh, than... Uh, last week, mostly because this was the week of the Cannes Film Festival, so I saw a lot of films that were selected at the Cannes Film Festival. I didn't go to the festival, but uh, there were some films that were screened at, at the beginning of the festival and then went wide uh, afterwards, and otherwise uh, there was this event created, um, made, set up by the Gaumont Cinema at... Uh, at the opera cinema last at the end of last week where friday saturday and sunday uh, they screened only films that were selected at the film festivals it was open to anybody so i went on saturday and saw six films there so i saw nine films from the festival and to be honest the only two that i'd like to talk about because they were fun the other ones were just slow boring it's just uh kill me now i mean it wasn't that bad, to be honest. It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't just... Was, it, they're not worth talking about. The only two that I really liked. It's a Good Time by Ben and Josh Savdi with Robert Pattinson. A very fun film that I enjoyed a lot. It's a little film where he plays a sort of hillbilly who, with his uh, kind of slow brother, decides to rob a bank. And then they rob the bank in order to, you know, move to the countryside, just away from everything without any hassle. And everything goes wrong, of course. His brother gets caught and he has to get him out somehow. And it's just nothing goes as planned. And it's just fun, a fun ride to, to follow. So go check it out if you have a chance and, uh, and it comes out near you. Just my personal opinion, go check it out if you want. Otherwise, a French film, 120 beats per minute by uh, Robin Campillo, Robin Campillo, which won the Grand Prix. I don't know what the difference is with the palm. So I suppose it's a price that it's a bit less. I don't know. Let's recognize. It's a great film about uh, the origins of ACT UP, an organization that was created in New York and then uh, went to Paris as well. About uh, a little organization that was trying to promote the awareness of AIDS and how it affected not only gay people but junkies and uh, um, prostitutes and all that. And they fought for the awareness and the protection by, by the government to treat uh, this sickness um, and it's it's very it's a very good film because it was entertaining a lot of fun but also very heart-wrenching and of course dramatic because as you can imagine those people that were sick didn't all survive so uh, a very good film I thought very cinematic as well so go check it out if it comes out uh, near you wherever you live Otherwise, another film that I saw that it's not related wasn't at the Cannes Film Festival, but I saw that for the first time watch Another film that I saw that wasn't at the Cannes Film Festival that I saw for the first time that was great was Mulholland Drive by David Lynch. And I was told this film was messed up. And for the first two-thirds of the film, I thought, what are, what are you talking about? I understand everything. But then ca came the last third and it's a messed up film. I have no idea what it means. I don't know what the theory is. Apparently, there are several theories going both ways on what's real, what's fantasy, what's a dream. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I, You know, it's the kind of film that when you come out, you didn't understand much, but you just thoroughly enjoyed it. That's the type of film. Some people think it's the best film ever made. I wouldn't go that far, but I think if you like movies and you're a cinema, and cinema enthusiast, a movie enthusiast, a movie fan, you should check it out uh, at least once in your life. Otherwise, an another film that was very messed up uh, in the same way. Not the same way where you didn't understand much, but was just messed up. It's a, it's a sp little Spanish-speaking film, an animated film called C Psychonautas, or Psychonautas by Pedro Rivero. Pedro Rivero and Alberto Vasquez, which takes place on an island with uh, animal-like humanoids who... It's just messed up. They're trying to leave the island, and then you meet the people on the island, and you find a, you follow a, a little bird, a bird boy who's is fighting with his demons, who if they take over, are going to make him a monster, and he has to take happy pills to keep it inside, and then you find a, a pig that has a spider inside that comes out and becomes a giant after getting heroin. Heroin, it's just messed up, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You should check it out if you like those weird, fun, strange films. Otherwise, Pirates of the Caribbean, not much to say. Not much to say. Dead Man Tell No Tales. 
entertaining yes Johnny Depp uh, I liked Captain Jack Sparrow overall in the films before but in this one I just thought it was over the top overdone I still had a good time but there's really not much to say if you want to watch a film that is entertaining and has a fantasy element to it go check out King Arthur Legend of the Swords that's a great film I thought not, not an amazing film but thoroughly entertaining and the software is freezing Thank you. Anyway, I don't know what you saw. It was freezing, but that was it anyway for today. So I wish you a good day. See you soon. Salut.